Hi, this is Kirk from the United Federation of Gaming, and today we will be installing the Spark Jabber Instant Messenger client for use on the UFG IM network. First, if I didn't give you a download link for Spark, go ahead and download it. You can get it from their official website if you want. If you already have a download link, you can just skip this part of the video. If you Google Spark, it will be the first result. Just go ahead and click Downloads. And it's Spark for Windows. I would go for the MSI package. Doesn't really matter. Preferably you want one that includes the Java runtime environment though, because if you get one that doesn't and you accidentally real don't realize that you don't have Java, it's just going to be a pain to install with the other installer. So it's best for everybody if you just get the one that does include Java, just in case. For the sake of making this video shorter, I've already downloaded the file, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Now if you had a download link from me, this is where you can pick back up. Go ahead and find the installer and run it. If you've ever installed anything on Windows before, which I'm sure you have, this is pretty standard. Just go ahead and hit next. You shouldn't ever have to change this, but because I'm weird and I'm installing this on remote desktop to make it easier to record, I do have to change the path. Go ahead and hit install. This should only take a second to complete. It's not that big of a program. Keep in mind, I'm not installing it on a gaming system right now. I'm installing it on my remote desktop, which is a server for a reason. Go ahead and hit finish. Now Spark is installed, so let's go ahead and run it for the first time. It might take a few seconds to run for the first time, depending on how fast your computer is. Alright, so we are now at the login screen. First time you run Spark, it will quite obviously not have your user account details. So, first we have to enter your username. Your username will be the portion before the at sign of your UFG email address. So my email address is kirk at unitedfederationofgaming.com. Therefore, my username is kirk. Then enter your Jabber password. Your Jabber password will be the password that you gave me when the account was set up, because even if you change your email account password, there is currently no way for you as a user to change your Jabber password permanently. So just go ahead and use the one that we set up for you. The server will always be unitedfederationofgaming.com. Then I like to check save password and auto login. You can if you want, doesn't matter really that much. If you want to start start the start the Jabber client with your system you're probably going to want those options checked and that's what we recommend so alright now if you're a noob and you're just going to run this on one computer you've never used instant messaging before go ahead and hit login at this point if you want to set up multiple accounts on multiple machines so that you can log in on your desktop and your laptop at the same time go ahead and go to advanced S Jabber allows you to do this with a utility called resources the default resource for spark is called spark you can name the resource anything you want. You could call it Gaming PC, Laptop, Kirk 2, doesn't really matter what you call it. It's just people will have to know it if they want to IM your laptop directly. But people will not have to know it if you're just going to have it go to whichever one's available, which is the default action for Jabber. I'm going to go ahead and call this Remote Desktop because I'm installing it on my Remote Desktop machine. All the other settings will be fine. You really shouldn't have to touch them. At this point, you can go ahead and click Login. And we are now logged into Jabber. As you can see, there's currently no one else logged in. When I make the next video about how, about how to manage contacts, I will have some people log in. So, let's go ahead and customize your Spark installation. As you can see, Spark has many comprehensive menu items. It's a pretty simple client to use, even if you've never used an Instant Messenger client before. If you go to the Spark menu and you go to Preferences, you can customize your installation. It is possible to change your Jabber password, but we don't recommend you do this because the way our server is set up, if there's a software update installed, which does happen from time to time, your password will revert to the one that we gave you when we created the account. So we don't recommend you change it because the change will quite likely not be permanent. Uh, as for login options, you should never have to touch any of this stuff. Um, if you forgot to check save password and auto login at the main screen, you can check those here now if you want. And if you want it to start with your system, 
go ahead and hit launch on startup. If you want it to stay out of the way when it starts, check start in system tray, which means when it starts, it won't actually open the big window, it'll just open as this little icon down in your system tray, which is probably preferable if you just want to be able to receive bulletins and IMs from other people. And then of course you can double click the icon to open your buddy list, because that's where it minimizes to anyway. I'm sorry, contact list. I'm sure buddy list is copyrighted by AOL or something. Uh, file transfer settings, you should never really have to change this, but if you want to change where the files are being saved to, you can do that here. The default is to put them in your uh, Jabber profile. Uh, you can actually customize the sounds. I'm not going to go into over how to do that because you don't really ever need to do that. You can customize the emoticons. Uh, the default emoticon set, you can also pick the Google Talk emoticons if you like those. Google Talk is Jabber if you didn't know that. I like the default ones. I'm going to stick with the default ones. And notifications, you should never have to change any of this either. Um, if you want to have it update with this, with the uh, new updates to the software, you can check check for updates. And go ahead and hit close. And our Jabber installation is now completely customized. And we are now installed. So you can now move on to the next video about contact management. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope that the tutorial has helped you to set up Jabber even if it's your first time setting up an instant messenger client. Uh, thank you for watching.